Are you secretly afraid you'll be overweight forever? If you answered yes, our guest has a unique approach to losing weight by healing your heart and mind. Please welcome author and trainer, Asher Fox. Thank you so much for being oh, with us. Oh, it's great to be here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So, Asher, let's get started by you sharing your own story because you built a very successful personal training business and yet at the peak of your success, you were a whopping 300 I, I pounds. <laughs> and as a dietitian, I know, yeah. people yeah. don't want to work with an overweight, overweight trainer or dietitian. <laughs> well, right. you know, and, and yes and no, because I had a kind of some mixed success. A lot sure. of people actually would come because they didn't feel pressured you know, by ah. the other trainers. Oh. And then also they had somebody that yeah. could understand them, right. but obviously there was a component that was missing as well. Right. You know, and basically I was an overweight child. I became an overweight adult. I thought, you know, if I learned everything there is to know about fitness and nutrition, how could I possibly be overweight? Right. I found a way. Okay. <laughs> so that was I, easy, right? It, it wasn't as hard as I thought it would right. be. You know, so right. I actually was a 300 pound personal trainer. And at that point I realized, you know, knowledge doesn't produce change. It's, you know, an experience. Mm. It's an emotional issue. You know, I was eating to feel better. So I turned my education from fitness to psychology, understanding the subconscious mind, became a subconscious behaviorist, a clinical hypnotherapist, and really have specialized in helping people overcome emotional eating, uh, the issues that cause them to use food to feel better, sabotage their diets. Mm. And that's what I've done for the past 18 years. Uh, you know, I, I know, I think it's really fascinating. I'm wondering, you know, just for your own personal journey, was there that one moment that there was like an aha moment or something just completely changed well, for the better for you? You know, I think that it it's kind of builds. I mm -hmm. think that, you know, for so many people and, and clients that I work with and people that have really embraced the Fat to Fearless program, there comes a point where, you know, I've done the same thing over and over mm -hmm. again, and I've, you know, failed so many times that there just kind of comes a point where, you know, it's nothing that is really any deeper understanding than they had before, mm. other than it just finally hits home. So you right. wrote this book, Fat to Fearless, which I haven't read cover to cover, but I looked at quite a bit of it, <laughs> and this is not your mama's weight loss book. No, Tell it's me not. how this is different, because I'm fascinated by it. Well, essentially, Fat to Fearless looks at weight as a symptom. You know, if you're over weight it's mm -hmm. a symptom of emotional issues so you know fat to fearless is all about healing those subconscious issues and you know it's not just about losing weight it's about mm -hmm. feeling better enjoying your life more learning to love yourself right I, I love that too and it's interesting because as a therapist you know I the subconscious is so important mm -hmm. and in your book you say the subconscious is powerful in keeping us kind of stuck in the cycle in our efforts to change so Absolutely. how does our childhood affect our relationship you know, the relationship between food and body. Sure, absolutely. You know, basically one of the primary functions of the subconscious mind is to prove us right. So, you know, most of these beliefs come from childhood. You know, a lot of people think you have to have some really traumatic childhood right. to have these types of beliefs, and really it can be fairly innocuous things. Just you know, one comment from somebody exactly. who you love can mm -hmm. really make right. that difference. Because in your life. the challenge is you're interpreting things as a child with the intellect and the emotional maturity of a right. three, four, five year old. Mm -hmm. And you're also interpreting it the way all children do everything, which is what does this mean to me? Correct. Yeah. You know, so Absolutely. you form these beliefs in childhood. You know, years go by, you don't even remember that event, yet it's there, it's in your subconscious, and you're yeah. operating from that. Yeah. And you start doing things to try to feel better. So yeah. you mentioned the people that are 50 pounds, 100 pounds, 150 pounds overweight, but as someone who's not overweight, I related to a lot uh -huh. of the things that yep. you were saying, because like you said, we all got stuff. Right. So what is the biggest message would you say for everyone out there? The the, well, the biggest message, I mean, that's a very good point. I, I work with people for a lot of things other than weight, and frequently, whether it's toxic relationships or, you know, drugs or whatever the case may be, you know, I just give them a copy of this and say, change weight to toxic relationships exactly. or what have yeah, you. Yeah. But Addictions, the Exactly, anything. but mm -hmm. the big message is that if you're not getting the results that you want, it's something you've tried to do your whole life, mm -hmm. there's some type of conscious, subconscious conflict. There's something deeper going that's on. True. And until you heal that, you know, you're just going to continue to cycle through that. So it's time to do things a little differently and actually go to the root cause instead of the symptoms. Absolutely. This is so much good information, and we thank, thank you. you so much. So oh, Asher's book you. is available online, and you may also visit his website at asherfoxweightloss.com.